Hello friends, in this video we will go through a complete cycle of creating, deploying and interacting with a machine learning model. The project involves sourcing the dataset and training a machine learning model for a binary classification task, deploying the trained model in a web server and interacting with the model to obtain predictions via REST API using a simple web page created for this project. Using the web interface, you can pass the necessary parameters to the model and obtain real-time predictions. The project helps in understanding the complete cycle of training, deployment and real-time exploitation of a machine learning model. The complete project code including the web interface design is provided on my GitHub account. The task in hand is to predict the purchase intention of an online user based on the dataset available on UC Irvine repository containing browsing information of over 12,000 online sessions on an e-commerce website. The features of this dataset have a mix of continuous and categorical variables. We will design our model to predict this target binary variable and associated probabilities in real time. This web page is designed to simulate a user's browsing behavior and pass the browsing parameters to the model deployed in web server for predicting probability of purchase in real time. In a real world scenario, based on this probability, a website can predict the purchase intention of an online user and deploy a suitable marketing strategy to lure the user into making a purchase during the ongoing session. Such models enable the website owners to deploy different strategies for different users based on their current browsing pattern in order to maximize the revenue. We will begin with the basic data pre-processing techniques to refine the dataset and extract the important features. Then we will encode and scale these selected features to prepare our data for training the machine learning model to perform a binary classification task. During this process, we will save the serialized binary files of our data transformation objects such as encoder and scalar along with the trained model. These pickle files will be used during the deployment part. The web page is created using HTML and JavaScript and designed to send the browsing parameters to the server via background AJAX calls. This raw data received by the server is encoded and scaled using the pickle files. This ensures that the incoming data is transformed in a format that is similar to the data format used while training the model. The processed data is fed to the model for inference and predictions are obtained. The predictions are transmitted back to the browser and displayed in this section. We begin by importing necessary libraries in the Jupyter Notebook and import our dataset. The dataset has just over 12,000 rows and 18 features. Some of the columns have non-numeric values. These values are mapped to numeric representations. Plotting the heat map shows the positive or negative linear correlation between continuous variables. Sequential feature selector is used in backward elimination mode to select the most significant features. And for the sake of simplicity, we shall be proceeding with these six variables. Now we encode the categorical variables special day and month using one hot encoder object which results in creation of additional columns. This encoder object is saved as pickle file. We split the data in training and test set. The data in both these sets is normalized using a standard scalar object. This scalar object is also saved as pickle file for later use during deployment. Now we train the logistic regression model on the processed training data. The performance of the trained model is observed with the test data. We can also obtain the coefficients of the logistic regression model for various predictor variables for analysis and interpretation. The coefficients obtained using the Python code can simply be used in this equation which shows the relationship between the various predictor variables and log odd of the probability of purchase during a session. For example, the individual impact of predictor page values and bounce rates can be interpreted as shown. The effect of these coefficients can be practically observed. 
as we increase the product related duration the probability of buy increases however when the bounce rate increases the probability of buy decreases further the exact same browsing pattern in the month of november increases the probability of purchase as compared to any other month therefore we can practically see how the coefficients of logistic regression model play out together in determining the final outcome the deployment code begins by importing necessary flask libraries and defining routes the code for the web interface is written in this html file here we load the pickle files of our model scalar and encoder objects the function which use this pickle files to transform the input data are defined here now we define the endpoint which is responsible for receiving the input data from the web interface the data is encoded and scaled and fed to the model for inference the predictions of the model are then converted to json format and returned to the client finally we run the application to start receiving the incoming request from the client this ip indicates the url at which the web interface is accessible over lan let's interact with our model now and see the results we can pull the url of our flask server in a separate browser and access the web interface when we change any of the parameter using the slider or a radio button the state of all the variables is passed to the server through background ajax calls the parameter sent to the server can be seen here the processed form of this data by encoder and scalar pickle files is also printed here finally the output of the model inference is printed here the prediction of the model is communicated back to the client you can observe the entire process repeating itself every time you change the state of the slider or radio buttons this is the html and javascript code for the web interface in order to access the interface over lan replace this ip with your flask server's ip the server response section is generated in this code the various controls for the interaction are generated in this part this is the javascript code which sends the form data to the server via ajax and receives the json response from the server the json data is parsed and displayed in the respective section of the web interface you can tweak this project code to suit any other binary classification task such as credit card fraud medical diagnosis etc depending upon your data set you can use different techniques to perform data cleaning feature selection and data transformation other algorithms can also be used ultimately all these variations will result in creation of a model pickle file which can be deployed as shown in this video thanks for watching and do let me know in the comments below if you use this project or create your own using this technique